your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss how today is March 1st and the benefits are ending. We also are going to talk about states are now starting to accept applications for summer pandemic EBT. We also have where one state has approved for the replacement benefits. That's right, guys. If you have been a victim of EBT fraud, now you're going to get some moolah back. We also have a lot of new bills. And when I say new bills, some of these work for us, some of them don't. And we have a lot more to talk about, honey. So if you want to know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. It's super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you. You guys know I'm still going to make it shake and bake. Even though we don't have the benefits, something has to give. I'm going to go ahead and pray that it happens. We are going to touch and agree through the internet, all right? So definitely, guys, something has to shake a bake. But if you want to do exactly what I'm doing, make money on YouTube while running my mouth or your mouth, go ahead and grab a copy of my ebook for $14.97. And you are an EBT recipient, honey. You can get Amazon Prime for free, 30 days on your girl. Now, guys, I'm not going to go all over the states that were approved for February because now we're in March. If you want to know that information, definitely check out my last video, but I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen so you can see if you are getting benefits for the month of February. And some states will go ahead and pay out in March as well. But as of right now, we know that March is the last month that the emergency allotment benefits will happen. Next, when it comes to states participating in the pandemic EBT for this school year, that's right, August of 2022 through May of 2023, we have one state to add to the list and that is good old Massachusetts. So definitely go ahead and drop some clap emojis in the comment box below. But the following states have been approved. Now, I'm not going to go and read all of the information like I did in the last video. Check out the last video. This is just to give you like all the updated information, okay? Okay, so Alabama has been approved, Hawaii, Indiana, Massachusetts, Minnesota, Michigan, New Jersey, North Carolina, Ohio, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Wisconsin. So those are the states, states that have been approved for this school year. Now we're going to go on to the summer pandemic EBT, where now you would get $40 per child over the summer. And we had this last year. Some states are still waiting to pay out like Missouri and Alaska for the summer pandemic EBT. But the following states have been approved for this year. And that is Arizona, Hawaii, Utah, Vermont, and Wisconsin. So those states have been approved as well. Now let's go ahead and jump into the news, honey, because that's what we want to know anyway, correct? All right, so first out, we're headed to Maryland where lawmakers have approved federal funding to replace stolen food stamp benefits in Maryland. So round of applause for Maryland. They are now the first state in the country to repay thousands of individuals who have lost their SNAP benefits that have been stolen from like electronic debit light cards used to buy groceries monthly. So we had talked Talked about this in some previous videos is going on across the nation with skimming um there's just like a massive uptick right now in food stamp fraud and thieves are frequently using these devices to steal food stamp benefits now according to a press release congressman ruppersberger has been one of the first and voices of the need to compensate the individuals that have been impacted by the food stamp theft. And he also stated like, hey, look, let's introduce this legislation to help with the security of these benefit cards as well to allow states use like their federal SNAP allocations to reissue stolen benefits that they can verify. Now guys, I think this was a great plan. I said this before, this was also passed back in December where states could start submitting their plans to reimburse victims. Now I told you in the video, states had to start submitting up that information, I wanna say on February 27th, but it was for any crime that was against like the seniors, disabled individuals, or families that are just going through hard times. So Congressman Ruppersberger was like, hey, with this federal approval, we have the funding to do this. Let's go ahead and start with Maryland and lead by example in helping those who need it most. Snap theft is a despicable crime that preys on the most vulnerable among us. And he said, look, I'm thrilled that that many victims will now be made whole. So 
I think this is a great idea. Um, I'm sure other states are going to jump on board as well because Congress passed about like $153 billion for the SNAP program and require states to use what was allocated to them to replace those benefits from October through December of 2024. Yeah, I want to say it's 2024. You have quite a few time, but once again, I think I told you guys where it has to be at least two, you only can claim it twice within one year. And I even broke down like the calculations on how you can do it. So watch some previous videos. I'll link them up above as well. But next we are headed to Georgia where all my Georgia peaches are at where now pregnant women can qualify for food stamps. So according to Georgia Senate, the Children and Families Committee, they approved House Bill 129 and it has already been passed by the House of Representatives. Now, under this bill, low-income women would be added to the list of those that are eligible for like tan f benefits, as well as the SNAP program. So in Georgia, I did not know this, but at this time, you can only qualify for welfare if the child is already born and lives in a household with a parent with where one or two is incapacitated. So according to Governor Kemp, he highlighted this plan for the bill in his state and he said, hey, look, the state wants to address this early in the year to support like new mothers. Not only that, but he said, look, his team is even learning and proposing legislation that will allow pregnant women who qualify for TANF benefits previously that were unable to apply for such assistance. So if you were pregnant or had a baby and you couldn't apply until the child was born, they're even looking at possibly, I guess, retroactivating that. I would see I'm not sure about that but he's saying as of right now this measure is supported by many in this chamber and he is grateful for the backing so with sponsoring this bill it was approved by the house like unanimously and they said they're doing everything in their power to go ahead and make sure that pregnant women and those who need it most are going to be able to receive these benefits and i think that is a great idea um like i said i don't know what our state offer here here in alabama but let me know down below is it like that in your state where the only time you can receive snap benefits is when the child is born or not but it's headed to the governor's desk for his signature and he's gonna sign it so hey all right guys so next we are moving on to the summer pandemic ebt because parents with children that are receiving like free or reduced lunch meal you guys are invited to go ahead and start applying for the summer pandemic ebt or the summer ebt program now of course this is happening like in chickasaw nation as well these are the cards they can use to help you purchase food over the summer months and that would be good through september 14th of 2023 where you can still apply. The program is open up to anyone regardless of like your tribal affiliation as well. But if you want to learn more, you can go to chickasaw.net forward slash summer EBT. And at that time, you can go ahead and sign up as well as like if you are in your state, you may want to check as well to make sure your school is doing something. And we know like with benefits ending um, today or this month, a lot of programs, they're saying, hey, make sure all your information on file with the school is correct make sure all your information provided to your social worker is correct as well because this is how you're going to get benefits of course states are now trying to introduce new programs as well so we'll see how that goes all right let's go ahead and keep the stories going with other bills all right guys and next we're headed to idaho where they are eliminating waivers and food stamps and this is headed to the senate so idaho house now will eliminate certain waivers for folks that are receiving SNAP benefits. And this is also known as food stamps. Now, the federal government requires people who receive like food stamps to have a job or be enrolled in some type of training program. But if they did not enroll in a training program, then the state does allow for certain exceptions. But the bill wants to go in and get rid of those able body working adults and require them to work at least 30 hours now they don't necessarily have to work like a job and clock in but they must be in a mandatory employment and training program that currently could be optional so right now because of the pandemic or we're, I guess we're no longer in the pandemic but due to the pandemic you did not have to have a job but now they're like look it would also eliminate like geographic and no good cause waivers granted to those who could not find jobs like locally or maybe you have circumstances that prevent you from working they want to get rid of those as well it says these requirements would not apply to like students that are enrolled 
in school or even people with dependents. So yeah, it's a lot of new bills and it's interesting to see how this is going to work out. But this is why we have to watch who we're putting in office and who we are voting for, guys, because you don't know who has your best interests at heart, right? So you need to watch out. And for our last story, we are headed to Missouri where they still do not have an update on when the payout will be for the summer pandemic EBT. But there's a lot of fraud that's going on in Missouri right now where People are receiving text messages asking them for their personal information, like your EBT card number, your PIN number. Um, I know my audience is smarter than that to give out that information, but they're saying a lot of people are falling for this because due to the food insecurity, they think this is some type of help that's going to be able to assist them, and that is not the case. So that's all that what we have going on in EBT news. I'll continue to look and see what is changing. There's a lot of bills that are going through right now. Um, one of them is like the Medicaid for food, and they're saying, hey, this may be another workaround as well, where if you are on Medicaid, now you can use that Medicaid and be able to get like food assistance or groceries as well. So that may be one way to circumvent. But there's a lot of things going on. Let me know, guys, in the comments below. Are you a little bit nervous with the extra assistance ending? Do you have a plan? Let me know all the things. How do you plan to attack this? Are you going to food banks? Are you going to pantries? Let me know all the things down below, and I'll keep coming back, bringing videos as I find the information. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.